Let's get it away. Alright, let me see. Okay, it's... Oh yeah, gotta go get the site too. Close you out, close you out. Keep you up, close you out. Alright. <clears throat> well, as always... Well, last... Year of number five now I've done this, I'm going to react to the release of the 2020 NFL schedule. But of course, still got to wait another five minutes ago, and of course, I have to do this on my backup channel, since of course, you know, still have that BS suspension, so I can't upload anything till tomorrow, I think I got to check first thing in the morning. And of course, if I can upload videos again, I'll just re-upload this on my channel, but until then, have to wait. So yeah, this schedule is a late one. Remember, it's usually in, um... Mid, mid to late April, but a couple weeks behind because of COVID. And of course, I might have to remind y'all because we because we have no idea what the schedule is going to happen. But also, more importantly, I'm curious if they're going to make the schedule in particular in case of games have to be missed. Just like in 2011 where they um made the schedule because of the lockout. They made the schedule so they can miss a whole bunch of games on purpose if needed. So let's see. Um... Am I on the right? Yeah, I'm on the right one. Let's see. Does it... No. Yeah, wait. Here we go. Looks like I have... um. The NFL will release its regular season schedule despite the ongoing COVID. Play the entire season schedule... Reports emerged that the NFL had com contemplated delaying the start of the season by six weeks to October 15th, not having bye weeks and scheduling Super Bowl 55 in late February. Yeah, so they have a lot of things in mind in case the schedule doesn't gets delayed or something. Well, that's a contingency, but who knows? It might still happen as normal since they're releasing the schedule, but I wouldn't be surprised if the first like half of the season has that in mind where if they have to be delayed or canceled, they'll just have games that have no problem with the schedule. Matter of fact, let me go look at 2011 really quickly while we still got a few minutes remaining. On Wikipedia, 2011 NFL season. It says uh, where schedule at. Here we go. This one says on Wikipedia about the 2011 season. When the league was arranged to, when the league was arranging the schedule in spring 2011, it added some cushion in case the labor dispute lasted into September. And the plan started the regular season. For example, every contest in week three had teams which shared the same bye week later in the season. Which would have allowed these games to be made up on what would originally be the week's, I mean the team's buys. Week two and four were subs, so they were neither divisional rivalries nor any team's buys in those weeks. And every team with a home game in week two was on the road in week four and vice versa. This would have kept the schedule as fair as possible if those games had to be canceled. Those scheduling changes... Among of eliminate, I had the possibility of eliminating the Super Bowl, moving it back a week. I mean, the buy before Super Bowl, moving it ahead a week. They had allowed a 14 game schedule and all that. So, yeah, they have a lot of stuff planned, possibly. So, who knows? I'm really curious to see what will be. Hopefully, the games for like Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night will be good. Oh, and I remind you, too, I just found out, too, that they actually, um, no, they're not going to do any, um, international games this year because of COVID. So, no London games, no Mexico City game, none of them. They're all going to be in original sites, which I kind of like, especially since I think it's unfair for the fans to have to lose a couple games because of it. And that's another thing too, because I remember someone mentioning BRB.
that reminds me too I think I heard somewhere that they might even consider, if needed, maybe having the games played with no fans there. Which, if they do, I'll be glad that the games will be played, but they definitely, like anyone has season tickets, they should be refunded. No ifs, ands, or buts about. But, of course, knowing them, they're going to be screwed over. Oh, let's see. Let me go refresh, because it's now 8 p.m. Alright, looks like it's time. We'll see. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna now put my um my um web I mean, not my webcam my um screen share on. Let me see desktop. Turn off the NFL logo. Ah, here we go. So week one will start Texas Chiefs. I had a feeling that was going to happen, although I still kind of thought Patriots would have been better. But hey, Patriots don't have a quarterback right now, so I guess it makes sense for them to pick Texas Chiefs instead. Oh boy, I feel bad for Deshaun Watson. The Texans are in such a bad shape, and he's got to go up against the Chiefs to start off. That's gonna be sad. So anyways, 1 p.m., Seahawks at Falcons, Eagles at Redskins, that's the second year in a row they've played each other the first week. They've played each other the first week of season three of the last four years. Dolphins at Pat! <laughs> How funny! Dolphins at Patriots, the game that, um, the last regular season game for Bray's time there, it's gonna restart again. Pa Ooh, Packers and Vikings, I would've thought that would've been a little bit later. I'm surprised it's that 1 p.m. start, too. Colts at Jaguars, Bears at Lions... Browns at Ravens, how funny too, because remember the Browns were the last team to beat the Ravens. Jets at Bills, just like how the Bills season ended last year too. Raiders at Panthers and 49, huh, 4 p.m. charter at Bengals. That's a little surprising late. And of course, Buccaneers at Saints at 4, I'm not surprised about that. Although I thought there would be a night game to start for the Buccaneers since Brady's there and all. Cardinals at 49ers, Cowboys at Rams on Sunday night. I'm surprised that um they're doing it since who knows, the stadium might be not be done in time. At least with the um, Raiders they have on the road. I would have thought they would have the Chargers and Rams both on the road too, just in case. So, interesting. I don't know. Especially since the Cowboys destroyed the Rams last year. I don't think that would be a good idea of matchup. So, Monday night, Steelers at Giants. Dude, the Steelers and Giants are not in good shape. And then Titans at Broncos for the West Coast Monday night. I don't know if I'd say that would be quite ready yet for the Broncos. Especially since they shut out the Titans last year, remember. I don't really like these two Sunday night, Monday night games. Alright, so off to week two. So first night, Bengals at Browns to start off. Mm. I mean, they're both... Didn't really play good last year. I don't know if that would be a good idea. Giants at Bears. Jaguars at Titans. Panthers at Buccaneers. Broncos at Steelers. Rams at Eagles. Falcons at Cowboys. Lions at Packers. Vikings, ooh, that's going to be a tough start for the Colts, I mean Vikings, and how fine too, just like in 2012 when they last met the Colts, that was in week two as well. Bills at Dolphins, 49ers at Jets, ouch, that's going to be a tough start for the Jets, hosting the, I mean, at the Bills and hosting the 49ers, then 4 p.m. Redskins at Cardinals, Chiefs at Chargers, Ravens at Texans, I'm actually surprised that this was not maybe a night game perhaps, like I thought it would be, Patriots at Seahawks on Sunday night? <laughs> I mean, I don't think the C the Patriots are going to be that good, for crying out loud, so why? I mean, they already had their Super Bowl rematch four years ago, so... Ugh, I don't think this was necessarily the best idea. Ravens at Texas would have been a much better idea than Patriots at Seahawks, especially this early in the year. Oof! That's going to be maybe a tough start for the Patriots. And then Saints at Raiders for Monday night, Saint Raiders' first game in El I'm Las Vegas. I'll fight two against Saints, although that matchup would not have been good. Symbolically, Chiefs, Chargers, or Broncos probably would have been a better ch choice. Not really the Saints. Saints will probably crush them. Then week three. Huh, all Florida. Dolphins at Jaguars. Then 49ers at Giants. Ugh, that's going to be a tough start still for the, te the Texans. At the Chiefs, hosting the Ravens, and at the Steelers. Ugh, I could easily see them go 0-3. Bengals at Eagles, Raiders at Patriots, fine enough too because when the Raiders last visited the Patriots in 2014, that was also um free you know, week free. Yep, my mic was on, just making sure. Titans at Vikings, that could be a tough start too for the Titans visiting the Vikings and the um Broncos to start the year. Redskins at Browns, Rams at Bills, Bears at Falcons, Panthers at Chargers, Jets at Colts, 4 p.m. 
Mm. Oh, well, that's right, because usually when the Jets and Giants play, they usually have one play at one, the other one playing at four. It's not so they play at the same time. Lions at Cardinals. Remember, they tied last year. It'll be interesting to see what happens this time around. Cowboys at Seahawks. Interesting. Buccaneers at Broncos. And then Packers at Saints on Sunday night. Uh, Packers, it's going to be tough for you. And find out, last time you visited the Saints, that was also Sunday night. And how about this for Monday night? She said, Ravens, I'd rather have this for Sunday night instead. But off the bat, week three? Oof. That's going to be tough for both of them. Chiefs got, let me see, Chiefs had to visit the Texans. I can't remember what they played in week two, if they played all. And then the Ravens host the ba um, Browns at the um, Texans. Then hosting the Chiefs. They're going to have to play the two teams they lost to last year. That's going to be incredible. Week 4, Broncos at Jets. Then Cardinals at Panthers. Ravens at Redskins, a Beltway rivalry. That soon. Steelers at Titans. Chargers at Buccaneers. Seahawks at Dolphins. Colts at Bears. Jaguars, Bengals. Browns, Cowboys. I was kind of hoping they would maybe pick Browns for Thanksgiving, but I see not. Saints at Lions. Vikings at Tags. I'll be interested. Giants at Rams. Bills at Raiders. Patriots at Chiefs. This was my original choice for Sunday night, even without Brady. But they're obviously going to put it 4 p.m. still, but who knows? I think the Patriots might be getting curb stomped, possibly. And then Eagles at 49ers on Sunday night. I had a feeling this would have possibly happen, but unless the 49ers have like a Super Bowl hangover, I don't expect probably the Eagles to do much. And then Falcons at Packers on Monday night, just like in 2014 as well. Hmm. That probably won't be as good as it was maybe in 2014. Oh, God, remember that game in 2014 they had on Monday night? That was crazy. I'm trying to think of Vikings at Texans probably would have been better. Um, I'm actually surprised the Buccaneers haven't had a primetime game yet this year. That's surprising four weeks in. I would have thought, because I remember there were rumors saying like they might give them like all five night games because Bray's there. And there we go. Speaking of prime time for the Buccaneers, finally, at the Bears on Thursday night. Then Panthers at Falcons. Rams at Redskins. Bills at Titans. If I'm correct, the Bills were at the Titans in week five last year. And then Eagles at Steelers week five, just like in 2012 when they last met the Steelers. Then Rams, I mean Cardinals at Jets. Bengals at Ravens. Jaguars, Texans. Raiders, Chiefs. Broncos at Patriots, Dolphins at 49ers, Giants at Cowboys, of course, got to put that at four. But hey, at least it's not week one at nighttime either. Colts at Browns at four. Now, that's surprising. Of course, it'll be interesting to see if they can actually show up this year. Ah, so Vikings at Seahawks on Sunday night instead of Monday night the last two years, remember. So they got a little bit of it. So they got the upgrade night. But of course, Seahawks probably would still win. And then Chargers at Saints on Monday night. Dude, the last time they met in 2012 in the Superdome, that was a nighttime game. Now they're making this night game as well. Dude, what's with the Saints getting bad matchups for Monday night this year? At the Raiders and hosting and Chargers? Why the hell would this be a good match? The Chargers sucked last year. They're probably going to tank. Vikings and Seahawks would have probably been a better chance, even though that would have been a third straight Monday night for them. Oh my god, I could easily see maybe Buccaneers and Bears even be a better idea. Week 6. Ooh! She said Bills. Hey, Bills. Since the Patriots are probably going to struggle this year, this would be a good opportunity to see if you could show up this year. And maybe curb stomping the Chiefs, maybe. That'll be interesting. Bengals at Colts. Lions, Jaguars. Falcons at Vikings. Redskins at Giants. Bears at Panthers. Ravens at Eagles. That'll be interesting. Texans at Titans. Browns at Steelers. Then 4 p.m. Dolphins at Broncos. Jets at Chargers. Packers at Buccaneers. I'm actually was thought they were going to make this a night game, but they didn't. And then Rams at 49ers on Sunday night. Mm. I mean, at least it was close last year when um they did their Thursday night game, but I don't know. I don't know about that one. And then Cardinals at Cowboys Monday night. Wow, they're giving the Cardinals some special treatment after um last year's improvement, but I don't know if I would consider that really Monday night material yet. Jeez, that Bills would probably have been a better Sunday night matchup for me. Week 7, Giants at Eagles. At least it was close last year. Overtime, it's right. Giants, that's right, the Giants blew that, what was it, a 17-3 lead? Then Steelers at Ravens, Browns, Bengals, Packers, Texans, 
Chargers at Dolphins, Lions at Falcons, Panthers at Saints, Cowboys at Redskins, Bills, Jets, 4 p.m. Cardinals at Seahawks, Chiefs at Broncos, 49ers at Patriots. I'm actually surprised they didn't make this Sunday night, which I was thinking they were going to do like they did in 2012. And then Sunday night, Buccaneers at Raiders. Bruh. Ugh. Uh, I think 49ers Patriots have been better than Buccaneers at Raiders. Ugh. And then Bears at Rams on Monday night. Dude, they just played each other on Sunday night last year. Actually, they played each other on Sunday night two years in a row now, remember. But the Rams, the Bears were an embarrassment last year when they visited them. Now they're going to make that Monday night. Which one's going to have an epic choke job in that one will be the better question. All right. For um, week eight. Falcons at Pampers. Eh, they would have been better with Buccaneers instead. See who would get that second spot in that division. Titans at Bengals. Raiders at Browns. Colts at Lions. Vikings at Packers. I'm surprised neither one of these were night games. Patriots at Bills. That'll be interesting. Jets at Chiefs. Rams at Dolphins. Then 4 p.m. Jets at... I mean, Jaguars at Chargers. Saints at Bears Sunday. I mean, on 4 p.m. again, just like last year. Dude, the Saints destroyed them. 49ers at Seahawks. I'm surprised that was also maybe not a night p.m. I mean, on Sunday night as well after the incredible finish last year. Cowboys at Eagles Sunday night. Was it the... Um, hmm. I They've played each other on Sunday night every year since... Holy shit, since 2009. Now I just remember. 2009 at the Eagles, 2010 at the Cowboys, 2011 Eagles, 2012 Cowboys, 2013 Cowboys, and that was because Flex in the last week of the season. Uh, 2014 Eagles, 15 Cowboys, 16 Cowboys, 17 Cowboys, 18 Eagles, 19 Cowboys, now at the Eagles again. I don't know about that. Oh, Buccaneers and Giants on Monday night. Well, the Buccaneers already got, what was it, like, this is the third Monday night, I mean, third night game this year at the Giants. I guess they want Brady once again go up against the team that beat him in the last two Super Bowls, but eh, I still don't think that would be a good matchup. They've given the Buccaneers not really good matchups for a night game whatsoever. Should have done the Saints one. That would have been a much better sense than the free day pick so far. Halfway through the schedule already. Eh, they're not picking good with... Fr wow, Thursday night, Packers of 49ers. I bet you the only reason they did this because the Packers got destroyed twice last year by them. If it wasn't for that, they probably would have done Sunday night or something like that. But a conference championship rematch, that'll be interesting. Ooh, Seahawks at Bills. Oh, that sucks. Same week as Ravens visit Colts, so I can't see that. Ja Although it's on Fox, so I might have a chance. Jag Texans at Jaguars. Panthers, Chiefs. Broncos, Falcons. Lions at Vikings. Giants at Redskins. Bears at Titans. And 4 p.m. Raiders, Chargers. Dolphins, Cardinals. And, of course, they got to make Steelers and Cowboys... 4 p.m. Hey, there you go. Saints and Buccaneers on Sunday night. Now, that will be interesting. So, so far, they've given the Buccaneers four night games. About time. And, of course, finally gave the Saints an actual interesting matchup. Really? Patriots and Jets again on Monday night? I mean, you do remember they got shut out. It was like 30 nothing last year. So, why do it again? I mean, yeah. Bra I mean, the Patriots aren't going to be as good since Bray's not there. But, come on. Ugh. Not really a good idea. Week 10, as we're getting close to November now. Colts at Titans on Thursday night. It was a close game, I remember, at least. Although, Texans might have been a better option, maybe, with the Titans or maybe the Colts instead. Texans at Browns, Redskins at Lions, Jaguars at Packers, Eagles at Giants, Buccaneers at Panthers, Bengals at Steelers, then 4 p.m. Bills at Cardinals, Broncos at Raiders, Jets at Dolphins, of course, like I said, 4 p.m. Whenever the Giants or Jets start one, you only have to start four for some stupid reason. Seahawks at Rams. 49ers at Saints. Now that, honestly, is a bunch of BS. How is that not a night game? That was an incredible game last year. And Sunday night, Ravens at Patriots. Dude. We do remember the Ravens pretty much spanking the Patriots, remember? I had a feeling they were going to make that a Sunday nighter, but eh, that would probably not be a good idea. They should have picked this instead. Although the Saints would have paid, played back-to-back -back Sinai's. But this would have been better. And then Vikings at Bears for Monday night. Ugh. Should have done the Packers instead. Or flip that around. 49ers Saints could have been either one of these games instead. But no, they can't ever make a good schedule in that regard. Cardinals at Seahawks. 
Hey, how about that? Maybe the Cardinals, I mean, the Seahawks can actually beat the Cardinals for once that they can't ever seem to beat the Cardinals when they host them, remember? They're like 1-5 or something like that the last six, seven years. All right. Lions at Panthers. Eagles at Browns. Patriots at Texans. Packers at Colts. Titans at Ravens. <laughs> Ravens, you better get your revenge on that one. Jeez. Steelers at Jaguars. Bengals at Redskins. Falcons at Saints. Chargers, Broncos, 4 p.m., Cowboys at Vikings, and Sunday Night Chiefs at Raiders. Well, enjoy the Chiefs destroying you. Not a good idea. And Monday Night Rams at Buccaneers. So the Buc so the Buccaneers had all five games. Wait. Then I think of it. Didn't they play? Aren't they playing free Monday Nighters? Wait, let me think. Sunday Night hosting the Rams. Sunday Night um, at the Raiders. Uh, Thursday Night at the Buccaneers. Monday night here hosting the Rams. And I can't remember the other game off the top of my head now. I'm going to have to check it later. I think they've played two or three Monday nighters. That's crazy. Especially not really good matchups still. And no, that rivalry of the late 90s, early 2000s is not going to be revived anytime soon. Cowboys, Vikings probably would have made a better choice. Or Patriots, Texans. All right, here we go. Let's see. What are the Thanksgiving games this year? Texans at Lions. How funny. Just like in 2012, when the Texans last visited the Lions, they picked up for Sunday night. Ugh. Colts would have probably been better, because when it comes to the Thanksgiving games, I want droughts to end. So, honestly, between them, the Colts might have been a better option, since they haven't played on Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, they did play in 2016, that's right, at the Steelers. So, Texans have the longer drought, but I think they had teams that played have a longer drought than that. Reds, Dude! They've picked Redskins and Cowboys four times! For Thanksgiving, the last eight years, 2012, 2016, 2018, now 2020? Bruh, the Cowboys destroyed the Redskins last year too, remember? It wasn't even close. Come on, what is with this? Dude, this is a terrible Thanksgiving schedule right here for the Cowboys again. Unbelievable, man, come on. That's why I said throughout the year, I wanted them, the Cowboys to play the Browns. On Thanksgiving, since the Browns haven't played on Thanksgiving since either like the 80s or 90s or even later. That would have been one long-ass drought. Oh my god, so stupid. And fi Ravens and Steelers on Thanksgiving. They played each other on Thanksgiving seven years ago. Mm. At least it was close, but... Eh. Ravens, like I said, played seven years ago. Steelers just played four years ago, so... There probably could have been a better matchup idea possibly for Thanksgiving. Just saying. But that Texas, you know, Redskins Cowboys one, that really is getting on my nerves. Stop picking the Redskins at the Cowboys. If I remember correctly, I think I had the idea in my head. If if the Giants visited the Lions, which I'm not 100%. No, Giants played in 2017, so they probably would not have been a good idea. I had to look it up, but I probably wouldn't have picked the Texans. Definitely wouldn't have picked the Redskins. And Raven Steel is probably not the best idea. So finally got that Thanksgiving ran out of the way. Titans at Colts, Giants, Bengals, Chargers at Bills, Raiders at Falcons, Browns at Jaguars, Dolphins at Jets, Cardinals at Patriots, Panthers at Vikings, then 4 p.m. Saints at Broncos, 49ers at Rams. Oh, Chiefs at Buccaneers for 4 p.m. And of course, we're back to this again. Sunday night, Bears and Packers, they played each other on Sunday night for like the last decade now. Remember several years ago I complained, of, for the last several years I complained about this, I'm always making Bears and Packers in a primetime game when the Packers are going to destroy the Bears? Well, they did it again. At least they had a little break last year when they didn't put the, um, man made at the Bears for once. But dude, the Packers are going to destroy the Bears, so why? Why do this? It's not compelling. Just stop. And then Monday night, Seahawks at Eagles, a wild card mat rematch from last year. Hey, maybe they can score se not score 17-9 like they did in the last two games. Interesting choice for Monday night. Down to the final five weeks. So let's see what we got down the stretch. Oh, Cowboys and Ravens on Thursday night. Because that's the that's been the case since 2014, I believe, where they have... Teams that play on Thanksgiving play on the next Thursday night. So, Cowboys and Ravens. Now, that will be interesting. Two explosive offenses last year. And then Saints at Falcons. Browns at Titans. Redskins at Steelers. 
Raiders at Jets. Wasn't around this time last year when the Jet Raiders visited the Jets? Jaguars at Vikings, Bengals at Dolphins. That would be interesting. Um, Lions at Bears, Colts at Texans, the 4 p.m. game, Giants at Seahawks, Rams at Cardinals. Huh, they're making Eagles at Packers, 4 p.m. But then again, last year's game was close, so I'm not surprised. Patriots at Chargers, Broncos at Chiefs on Sunday night. The matchup's interesting, but the Chiefs did blow out the Broncos last year, so... I really don't think that would be a good idea for Sunday night. Maybe Thursday night, more like. Although last year's game was Sunday night. And how about that Monday night? Bills at 49ers. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. Interest as hell. Bills, like I said, if you want to show up, you better put up there against the runner-up for the Super Bowl. Alice, that's got to suck playing the Chiefs and 49ers this year for them. All right, week 14. Ah, the Super Bowl, their first Super Bowl rematch. Patriots and Rams. Just like the Chiefs and 49ers are going to have to wait till 2021, the Patriots and Rams are going to get their rematch now. But, oh, God, can you imagine how bad that game might be down the stretch? Ugh. Probably be barely trying to stay within 500, maybe, by that point. Broncos at Panthers. Vikings at Buccaneers. That'll be interesting. Cardinals at Giants. That game was interesting last year. That'll be great to see, maybe. Chiefs at Dolphins. Chiefs return to the site where they won the Super Bowl. Titans at Jaguars, Packers at Lions. That'll be interesting to see if the Lions almost get the win last year. Cowboys at Bengals, Texans at Bears. Then the 4 p.m. games, Jets at Seahawks, Colts at Raiders, Redskins at 49ers, Saints at Eagles, 4 p.m. Interesting, must say. Falcons at Chargers. And how about that? Steelers at Bills on Sunday night. Remember, that was the flexed in game last year in Week 15 when the Bills fucking destroyed the Steelers with those four interceptions. Don't think that'll be a good idea for 4 p.m. How fight we? Oh, almost. Almost to the year, too. Almost to the year. I don't think that would be a good idea, though. I don't think... Although the Steelers, I know, are going to always be around 500 like they always do, even when they struggle. I don't think that would be a good idea for Sunday night. And then Ravens at Browns on Monday night. Dude, they always pick the Ravens at the Browns on Monday night. When they, when they have the Ravens play the Browns at the Browns. On night game. They always have my Browns on Monday night. They did in 2009. They did in 2015. Now here in 2020. Probably not the best idea. Since the Ravens. Although the, the Browns crushed the Ravens. That's true. Week 4 last year. But the Ravens destroyed the Browns last year too. When they visited them. So I don't think that would be a good Monday night one either. So week 15. Alright. Oh, we got some games that might move to Saturday, I see. So, start off Chargers at Raiders. Once again, back-to-back -back Thursday nights, I see. And then Bills at Broncos to be decided. So, we'll consider these possibly on Saturday. Panthers at Packers. That was close last year. Texas at Colts. That'll be interesting. Jets at Chargers. And Lions at Titans. Now, we'll get to the regular Sunday games. Seahawks at Redskins. Browns at Giants. Bears at... Finally, the Bears don't play to... I mean, visit the Vikings... The last week of season. God, that's been the case. Like I screamed and yelled about the last bunch of years when the Bengals played the Ravens last week. God, let's see. The um, Vikings. 2010, they visited the Lions. 2011, they hosted the Bears. 2012, hosted the Packers. 2013, hosted the Lions. 2014, hosted Bears. 2015, at Vikings. I mean, not Packers. 2016, uh... Hosting, yeah, hosting Bears. 2017, hosting Bears. 2018, hosting Bears. Five, I mean, four straight years where they'd host the Bears. So, nice to see that finally change for once. Then we're going here, Buccaneers at Falcons. I'm surprised they didn't make that four. Jaguars at Ravens. How fine enough? In, actually, no, the Jaguars visited the Ravens in 2015 earlier than that. Because I remember in 2014, the Jaguars visited the Ravens in week 15 as well. Patriots at Dolphins. Wow, only two? 4 p.m. games? Wow. Eagles at Cardinals. Chiefs at Saints. I'm surprised they didn't make that Sunday night, which I thought was going to be. And Monday night, 49ers at Cowboys. Of course, they were going to pick that one. But Chiefs at Saints would have been a better idea. Just saying. I'm sure pretty much every, pretty much most of the um, fans would probably agree they'd rather have Chiefs at Saints over 49ers at Cowboys Sunday night. Monday night, Steelers at Bengals. Really? Bruh. The Bengals were the worst team last year record-wise. Steelers were not really that good whatsoever. You're going to pick this Monday night? Maybe. Oh, that's right. Dirty Vontez no longer in the Bengals. Watch the Bengals choke that too again. Oh, my God. What a terrible idea for Monday night. Bills at Broncos might actually be a better idea too. 
Week 16? Ah ha! So, um, wait, why is... Why is it, like, all in Spanish now or something? That's a little weird. Because it's not, um... It's not in English. I wonder how that happened. Translate the... Hmm. That's weird. Must be something wrong with the site. But anyways... Ah! First night on Christmas Day! Vikings and Saints! The rematch of the wild card game! That will be interesting. And we got more games for Saturday. 49ers at Cardinals. That was close last year, remember? Buccaneers at Lions. How funny, too, since 20 years ago to... Bu Brady May's first game appearance against the Lions. Broncos at Chargers. Dolphins at Raiders. Browns at Jets. So, for the rest of the games, Panthers at Redskins. Ah, it's going to take that long before Ron Rivera goes up against his former team. Colts at Steelers. That's a little late. Falcons at Chiefs. Uh, Giants at Ravens. How fine, too, the Giants visit the Ravens on the 20th anniversary, too, of their first Super Bowl game against each other. 2000. 20 years later. And... Just like in 2012 and week 17, week 16. Oh, I'm sure the Ravens' 20th anniversary of their 2000 Super Bowl is going to be celebrated for that one against the team they beat. Bengals at Texans. Just like in 2016, I believe the Bengals last visited the Texans. Then Jaguar, you know, Bears at Jaguars. Then 4 p.m. Once again, only 4, 4 p.m. games, huh? Rams at Seahawks. That'll be interesting. Eagles at Cowboys. Cowboys to rim. Titans and Packers on Sunday night. The matchup between the two conference champions runner-up last year. That will be interesting. And then Monday night, Bills at Patriots. Ha! Well, Bills, the Patriots prevent you from winning the division last year. Let's see if you can put it up this year to wrap up the final Monday night game. Now, that will be a nice option. All right, here we go. Let's see the divisional matchups for wrap up the season. So, Dolphins at Bills. Saints at Panthers, just like last year, remember? Jaguars at Colts, they played each other last year too, but that was at the Jaguars. Titans at Texans again, they played each other last year, remember? That's how Titans got in. Packers at Bears. I don't think the Packers have ever visited the Bears the final week of the season since they've done this back in 2010. I don't think they had. 2010 at... No, they... They hosted the Bears, that's right. 2011 hosted the Lions. 2012 at Vikings. 2013 oh, at, at Bears, that's right, in 2013. So that's not the first time. Oh, God, here we go again. Ravens at Bengals. Dude, we're seriously going to go for this again. We have a two-year break, but now they're going to go back to shoving Ravens at Bengals the final week of the season. Same goes for Steelers at Browns. Like, they always shove those two matchups the final week of the season. Vikings at Lions. Ch Chargers at Chiefs again, just like last year. Jets at Patriots. Remember, they used to regularly do that. Jets at Patriots the final week of the season. Had a break last year with the Dolphins, but now they're doing Jets again. Cowboys at Giants. Redskins at Eagles. Falcons at Buccaneers. And finally, Raiders at Broncos. Cardinals at Rams. And Seahawks at 49ers. Question is, which one of these will be the final night game? Hmm. That'll be interesting. Possibilities based upon last year, maybe Titans and Texans. Steelers and Browns, maybe. Maybe they could challenge for a wild card, perhaps. Um, Falcons and Buccaneers, maybe. Raiders and Broncos, if they both show up. Seahawks and 49ers, probably be more likely. Well, that was the regular season. Now, I'm going to be curious. Let's take a look at the, um... Yeah, well, let's go look at the night games first. Well, I already, knew, I already knew the Seahawks were going to host the Patriots. I just didn't think week two on Sunday night. Ugh. I don't know about that. But I already knew they were going to host the Patriots. So let's see. The Thursday night Bengals at Browns. I don't think that would be a good idea. Dolphins at Jaguars. Not really good. They're going to probably struggle. Broncos at Jets. Now that has a little bit of interest to it since they're rising up. Buccaneers at Bears. Maybe we'll see how... the Brady with the Buccaneers do. Maybe the Bears will actually show up or maybe choke. Chiefs at Bills. Now that's good. Giants at Eagles. It'll be close, but I don't think it'll be a good matchup record-wise. Falcons at Panthers. Not really. Packers at 49ers. Interesting, but I'm sure the 49ers will probably destroy them again. Colts at Titans. Interesting. Seahawks at Cardinals. Eh, not really. Cardinals will probably beat them. Jo Cowboys at Ravens. Interesting. Patriots at Rams. Only interesting because of the Super Bowl rematch. Chargers at Raiders, not really. Vikings at Saints, a lot of interest. I'm surprised they made that um, 
Sun um Thursday night. I would have thought they made that Monday night or Sunday night. All right, then the Monday nighters. Yeah, Steelers at Giants and Titans at Broncos. Not really good. Yeah, Saints at Raiders. That's terrible. Chiefs at Ravens. I'm surprised that wasn't Sunday night. Falcons at Pampers. Ugh. Chargers at Saints. No. No. Cardinals at Cowboys. Eh, not really. Bears at Rams. No. Buccaneers at Giants. Eh, not really. Patriots at Jets. No. Vikings at Bears. Not really. Rams at Buccaneers. No. Seahawks at Eagles. Eh. Bills at 49ers. That's good. Ravens at Browns. Not really. Steelers at Bengals, no. Bills at Patriots, hell yeah. So the Monday Nighters are not really good. And of course, Sunday night. Texans at Chiefs, that was probably the, the most logical sense after the Patriots had the regression, but it still doesn't feel right for me. To me, it should have been the Patriots, even though I know the Texans would probably have been a better matchup. Cowboys at Rams, not really. Patriots at Seahawks, ugh. Packers at Saints, I knew it was going to be that... I mean, they were going to pick up for Sunday night, but eh, not a good matchup, probably. Eagles at 49ers, eh. Vikings at Seahawks will be interesting, but maybe not for Sunday night. Rams at 49ers, I'm not sure. Buccaneers at Raiders, no. Cowboys at Eagles, just don't like seeing this matchup all the time on Sunday night. Saints at Buccaneers, that'll be interesting. Ravens at Patriots, interesting, but I don't think that'll be a good matchup. Chiefs at Raiders, no. Ravens at Steelers, interesting. At least it's for the rivalry, my experience. Bears at Packers, no. Broncos at Chiefs, not for Sunday night. Steelers at Bills, no. 49ers, Cowboys, again, another game I knew would be for Sunday night, but not a good idea. Titans at Packers would be interesting. All right, let's go check out individual teams. Let's see how many each the important teams, how many night games they got. Let's start with the Ravens. I mean, November 15th. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, huh. That's new. I didn't, that's the first time I've seen that. It would be stuck on Sunday night. I've never seen that before. Like, what? Ravens don't play on Patriots week one. So let's see. Pa I mean, Ravens. Monday night hosting the Chiefs. Sunday night the Patriots. Sunday night at the Steelers. Thursday night hosting the Cowboys. Monday night. Wow. Three back to back night games. But at least they got five night games because usually they get screwed over by the schedule. That was a right. Hosting the Chiefs, although I think that would have been better for Sunday night. I knew they were going to pick Patriots Sunday night, but I don't think it would be good. Sunday night Steelers. I mean, it is arch robbery and was close last year, but not really sure about that. That was interesting. And, of course, they're playing on Thanksgiving, so it's not a surprise. At the Browns, not really. I would have rather them... Ugh. I would have rather them maybe take... Of all these, maybe take that Browns one, give it to the Texans instead. Maybe a night game against the Texans. Let's see the Chiefs defend champs. Let's see if they got their five games. Which I'm sure they did. Of course, Sunday night hosting the Texans. Monday night the Ravens. Thursday night the Bills. Sunday night the Raiders. Sunday night hosting the Broncos. So, yeah, they did get their five games. Like that. Definitely like that, but not for Monday night. Like that, although I think it would have been better for a different night. But, hey, there's so many good matchups. No, not the Raiders. And not the Broncos. A night game better for them. Take the, um, let's see. Take the Raiders and Broncos one. Give the Sunday night to the Patriots. And give that other Sunday night to the Saints. That would have been a better choice for me. 49ers, a runner-up for the Super Bowl. Let's see if they got their five. Ah, at the Jets and Giants to start off. That's interesting. Back to back in New York. Sunday night hosting the Eagles. Sunday night hosting the Rams. Thursday night hosting the Packers. Monday night hosting the Bills. Sunday night the Cowboys. Wow, four night games at home, but yeah. Uh, I don't know about that one. I'm not sure about that either. That's fine. That's really good. Eh. Probably I would have maybe taken the Eagles one, given that... To the um, Saints one. That Saints game should be Sunday night. That Kreble game last year was like 48-46. That was a Kreble. This should have been Sunday night. That's like the... This is honestly might be the worst um, choice for the schedule. Them not having Saints... At, I mean, 49ers at Saints on Sunday night. That was a terrible choice. But of course... Oh, the, oh, the TV network's got to have their picks in the games too. Fuck them. I don't give a shit about them. I probably wouldn't have picked the, Cow the Cowboys one year. But I mean... like. 
Other than the Patriots, or maybe a night one for the Seahawks. I can't really think of who to replace it with. Let's see how many they gave the Patriots, since they're going to probably regress now. Let's see. Sunday night, the Seahawks. Monday night at the Jets. Sunday night hosting the Ravens. Thursday night at the Chargers. Oh, wait. Hold, hold on a minute. TB, to be decided on... Wait, what? Let me let me go back to that. Week 16. It says, to be decided. It said Monday in ESPN. So it's a Monday nighter. Yeah, it says... Wait, to be decided. Wait. Wait a minute. Are you saying they're gonna... They might actually consider changing the Monday night game now? They've never done that before. That would be a... No. That would... I would not like that. Keep that for Monday night. I'm gonna have to look that up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna look that up. Let's look up Wikipedia. I'm curious. Let's see what, the, um... 2020 New England Patriots. Let's see what it says about that schedule. If it got updated yet. And it didn't. Alright, then let's check the bills then. Maybe it got updated on there. Really? In each week, 15, 16, up to three to five games will be played on Saturday, which may have played on Sunday specifically. But this is, but that's not, let's see. Week up to three to five. One, two, three... So five. Then why is it? This is six. So why is it to be decided? Ugh, I have no idea. But the that should definitely stay money. Now. Let's go back to look at the Patriots again. I think I saw five. One, two, three, four, and then five. If they kept on Monday night, which it should. Monday night at the Bill hosting the Bills. That'd be good. I had a feeling they're gonna pick the Rams on Thursday night, but I don't know if that'd be a good matchup. The only reason they Got that is because it's the Super Bowl rematch. Sunday night the Ravens, not sure. Monday night the Jets, no. And Sunday night the Seahawks, eh, not really. Take that Sunday night from the Seahawks, give that to the Chiefs. Take that Sunday night against the Ravens, give that to the 49ers. And that's probably it for me. I can't think of anything better. Let's check more of the better teams. Uh, Let's see... Let's go with the um, Packers. Let's see. Since they're the runner-up conference championship. Sunday night to tight. The um, Saints. Monday night hosting the Falcons. Thursday night the 49ers. Sunday night hosting the Bears. And then Sunday night hosting the Titans. I probably wouldn't put that there. But of course they're going to keep that. Definitely would not have that. I'm surprised they made that a 1pm game at the Texans. Thursday night the 49ers. Unfortunately, a lot of their matchups just aren't that really good for the Packers. And they and they were not a good team last year compared to um to um their record. They were not a good 13-3 team. So the five games, they shouldn't even deserve them. But of course, they're the Packers, so of course they're gonna always get their five games no matter what. But yeah, the Titans won, okay. Bears, no. 49ers, I guess. For Thursday night, it would be good. Sunday night, the Saints, eh, not really. And then the Falcons, not really. Probably would have given a night game to the Vikings. Since they were, remember, valley each other out for the playoffs last year. But other than that, that's all I can think of. Just maybe two or three night games for them. They just were not that good. Let's check the AFC runner-up Titans. Monday night, the Broncos. Thursday night, hosting the Colts. Sunday night, the Packers. I'm conflicted because, on the one hand... I think they screwed them in terms of night games, but on the other hand, they've given them way too, I mean, a good amount. Because the Titans, since they're a small market team, they usually never get a lot of these night games. But they got free as a conference runner-up, which I think is kind of bullshit. But hey, 9-7, small market team, this sounds like about right, but this doesn't feel right. Keep the Packers one. I mean, at least the Colts and Broncos are compelling matchups. Colts, it was close between them last year. And the Broncos, yeah, they shut them out. But, of course, the Broncos are coming up. So, that maybe, maybe, maybe would be a good idea, maybe. The Vikings one may be a little bit more interesting since they were the six seeds last year in the playoffs. And they did a good job between each other. The Bills one would have been interesting. Uh, but I can't think of anything else. Alright, let's go check out... Hey, the Saints! Yeah, the Saints, I did not like their night games. 
Monday night at the um, Raiders. Sunday night hosting the Packers. Monday night hosting the Chargers. Sunday night the Buccaneers. And then Thursday night hosting the Vikings. I mean, why? Why? Would they think the at the Saints would be a good idea for the Raiders first home game in Las Vegas? No! It should have been the Chiefs, Chargers, or Broncos for the AFC South. I mean, AFC West rivalry. Not the Saints. The Saints will destroy them. Terrible idea. Packers at Saints, not good really either. Chargers won. That's just as bad as the Raiders ones. Neither of them should have been um a night a Monday nighter. Sunday night, the Buccaneers. It honestly is not really a good matchup, but of course, ugh, Brady versus Breeze. They were going to put that in, no surprise. That is just a travesty, like I've said all night. This is just bullshit. That is not fair at all. That sh This should have been Sunday night. So, my God, the Saints honestly got probably the worst night games probably of everyone. Keep the Vikings one, although I might have put that Monday night or Sunday night instead. Uh... Get, take that Monday nighter from the Raiders and Chargers. Give them to the 49ers and Chiefs games. I maybe take that Sunday nighter away from the Packers, but who would it give it to? Because there really is no one else, pretty much. But yeah, Monday night, hosting the Raiders, I mean, at the chart, I mean, hosting the Chargers at the Raiders. Uh, uh what was the other game again? I can't remember. And then not giving the 49ers a night game and the Chiefs one either. That's bullshit. Complete horse shit. Alright, who else to look up? Um, Who had another really... We already checked the Chiefs, the Ravens, the Patriots. We already checked the 49ers, Buccaneers. No, 49ers. Oh, Buccaneers, yeah, let's see. Because they got all five night games, of course, because of Brady. I honestly thought they might have made that the first Monday nighter for the East Coast against the Saints. I really thought they would have, but I'm surprised they didn't. But Monday night, I mean, no, Thursday night at the Bears, Sunday night at the Raiders, Monday night at the Giants, Sunday night hosting Saints, so back to back, and then Monday night hosting the Rams. Don't like the Rams one, don't like the Raiders one. I'm indifferent really to the Bears, the Giants. Honestly, I'm only indifferent to the Saints, but because it's Brady versus the Breeze, of course, I'm not surprised they put that in. I don't really like a lot of the Buccaneers night games. I really don't. Especially when they got one, three back-to-back -back night games. And then um almost five all five of their night games are almost back-to-back -back almost with just a 4 p.m. or 1 p.m. or in between. All right, let's see the Seahawks. I bet they're going to get way too many night games because they didn't play that good. Sunday night hosting the Patriots. Sunday night hosting the Vikings. Thursday night hosting the Cardinals. Monday night the Eagles. Huh, only four night games. About right. But I probably would have taken that Patriots one away. Maybe give it to the Bills. I would have probably made Vikings Monday night. I don't think I would have made the Cardinals Thursday night either. Uh... Maybe give them a hosting the Rams a night game. Definitely would have given the 49ers one a night game too, since they were neck to neck last year for the division. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's go check our Las Vegas Raiders. And of course, they got one Monday night hosting the Saints, Sunday night hosting the Buccaneers, Sunday night hosting the Chiefs, Thursday night hosting the Chargers. Jesus Christ, they're trying to milk the death to get the. Vegas fans out, which probably won't buy. Give them four home games at on all these games at night. Jeez, four of them. And of course, gotta give them to um really good teams, except the Chargers try and milk out as much people as possible. Eh, probably won't happen. They got way too many night games. Definitely no Saints. Eh, I don't really think the Buccaneers too. Chiefs at least a division rivalry. Chargers same thing. So those make a little bit more sense, but. The pay the um, the, the um Saints and Buccaneers those are bullshit. I'm surprised they didn't give them five night games. Rams, let's see. I bet they got five as well. One, two, three, four. Yep, five. They went nine seven last year. They were shit compared to Super Bowl appearance two years ago. Kept the but Patriots won first Super Bowl rematch. Monday Night the Buccaneers, no. 
hosting the Bears on Monday night? No. Sunday night, the 49ers? Eh. Sunday night, hosting the Cowboys? No. Hmm. Um. Like I said, a Seahawks one might have been a better choice, but other than that, they just don't really have good matchups. And they're just not that good of a team right now. I think they're going to struggle. I wouldn't be surprised if they're last place in the NFC West. That's how little trust I have in them. So let's see. Maybe the Bears. I'm sure they got so many night games too. Monday, I mean, first night, Buccaneers. Two, three, four, of course. Eight and eight, but still get four games. Uh, of course. Of course, the Cowboys are always going to get five night games no matter what. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five night games. No surprise. Sunday night Rams. No. Monday night hosting the Cardinals. Not really. Sunday night the Eagles. Not really. Thursday night at the Ravens. Not really. But of course, they're Thanksgiving, so no surprise. Sunday night hosting the 49ers. Ugh. Got to always milk them. And of course, another team that always gets five night games no matter what. How bad they are. The Steelers. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four night games. And freaking at the Giants, bad. Um, Vision, I mean, Sunday night at the Bills, bad. Monday night at the Bengals, bad. Ravens won at least at the rivalry and was close, but I wouldn't necessarily say that would be a good matchup. Steelers got way too many night games. They always got to give bad teams so many night games oh, because of exposure. And making money on TV. Fuck that bullshit. I don't think I checked the Texans yet. Wow, the Texans only got one. Wait. Then they. Wait, no first I mean, I'm first in Nighter? I guess because they're playing Thanksgiving at the Lions, I guess that's why I didn't give them a first in Nighter. I think this is supposed to be possibly Saturday. I'm surprised they gave the Texans only one night game. But then again, we saw, like, trading away um, DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, God, that was such a stupid trade. I guess the NFL could sense that the Texans are probably going to regress this year, so I guess that's why they didn't give them the, um, so many night games. Who else should I check? Let's see, Browns. After the four games last year. Humble by giving them just two. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I checked Eagles yet. One, two, three, four. Ha! Huh, they didn't get five. I'm surprised. Not five night games. Huh. Alright, maybe one more team before I maybe do a little bit more research into their schedule, like home and away and all. Hmm. Hey, the Bills. Because right now, my eyes in the AFC... Contenders for the Super Bowl, it's the Ravens, Chiefs, maybe the Patriots if they got a quarterback, which of course they don't, so like they're like on the fence. The Bills, I don't know if I would say they're a Super Bowl contender, but hey, if they can win the division, that would probably get them at least a third seed since the AFC South is not that good, so that could help them out. So I consider maybe the Bills a possible Super Bowl contender, even though it might be way too early, and in the NFC, it was the um, uh, 49ers, Saints... I don't really consider the Packers and Seahawks Super Bowl contenders, but hey, they always seem to be right in the mix. The Vikings, maybe, but they always over underperform in terms of wins. Cowboys, maybe, if their coach shows up, since, God, I forgot his, oh, Jason Garrett was such a bad coach, maybe that would improve him just on that alone, because they were an underachieving 8-8. Eight and eight. No, overachieving 8-8. Eight eight. They played way too good for an 8-8 eight eight team. So let's see, the Bills... Thursday night, the Chiefs. It's Monday night, the 49ers. Sunday night, hosting the Steelers. Monday night, the Patriots. Oh, so now it says... That says... Monday night, 8 p.m. Then why, Let me go back to Patriots. We all saw it, it said to be decided or something. Let's see, Patriots. It says to be decided even though the Bills page says 8 p.m. Look at that. You all seen that? To be decided. To be decided. Now let's go over to the Bills. Hit the wrong button. Team. Bills. December 18th, I mean 28th, 8, 15 p.m. So what the fuck's up with that? Why did the Patriots say undecided? The Bills page says Monday night, December 28th, 8, 15. That makes no sense. 
Bills probably got way too many night games, but more because not good schedule. I mean, not good matchups. The Chiefs won 49ers one I like, but oh, and the Patriots too, but not the Steelers one. Maybe give it to the Broncos or the Titans. Maybe that would probably been a better chance. All right, let's go see how each. Oh no, wrong one. Let's see who has like. Let's go check out the more important teams. Let's see Chiefs. That's gonna be tough though. Back to back road games. At the Chargers, they sucked last year, but they were still competitive with the Chiefs. That's going to be tough at the Ravens and host the Patriots. Not an easy start for them. Two home games to end out the year. That will be a little bit easy. Wait. Almost their entire schedule is two home games and two back-to-back, -back, almost. All their road games, too, are connected to each other. Look at that. Every single one of them. Interesting. Let's see the 49ers. Host and of course, staying in New York two weeks. <laughs> Three home games after that. Seems an equal amount near the end of the stretch. Ooh, they got late by week this year. Let's see the Ravens. Cause remember the interesting thing about the Ravens last year? Who keeps... Fucking phone keeps going off. I'm trying to do the stream. Find enough about the Ravens last year. Remember? Didn't you know that they alternated back... Home and away, I mean away and home the entire year. They never had two home games or two away games. They always alternated. Oh my, oh, for a minute I was thinking like, oh my god, they almost did it again, but not this time. Home, away, home, away, home, away, home, away, and then away right there. So they broke that streak this year. Seems pretty fair for the Ravens at least. Let's go, maybe over to the AFC. Maybe I'll go by AFC after that. Ooh, alternate back-to-back. -back. Ooh, that's going to be tough for the Patriots. Three straight Ray games. Mm. And then a stretch of like four out of five. Man, Patriots, you better have a good, strong start to the year or you could be in trouble. I don't think I've checked the Bills yet. That's going to be tough for the Bills. Three of their first five away. Those away, those final three away games for the Steel Bills are gonna be tough too. Ooh, that's a tough end of the schedule for the Jets. At the Seahawks, at the Rams, hosting the Browns, and at the Patriots. Oof, that is really gonna struggle for them at the end of the year. Six, the first six games. I mean, four of the first six for the Dolphins are away. That's going to be tough. Hey, three home games to wrap up the year. But, hey, hosting the Patriots, hosting the defending champ Chiefs, and hosting the Bengals, who you almost lost to, and then at the Raiders and Bills to wrap up. Ooh, those last five games are going to be tough for the Dolphins. Let's see, Steelers. Just like the, um, what was it, the Bills? No, it was the Jets. Three of their last four are away. That's not going to be easy. And then the Browns. Oh, wow. The Browns got a lot of way games to wrap up the air. Free home games, too. I mean, free straight. Yeah, that's going to be tough. <laughs> and the Giants and Jets again. That happened That happened with the Dolphins and Giants last... No, the um, Dolphins and the Bills last year... They play the Giants and Jets back-to-back -back weeks. That's really funny how they're doing that. <laughs> oh, boy. Now. Uh, oh, yeah, Bengals. Let's see. As our worst team last year. Ouch! Ouch! That's going to be tough. Chargers, that could probably be a win, but at the Browns, that's going to be tough. At the Eagles, that's going to be tough. Hosting Jaguars, that could maybe be a win. But then at the Ravens and at the Colts? Ouch! Oh, man. I could easily see them going... One end, I can see him maybe lucky going 2-4, and four, but I can see him easily going 0-6, oh too. At least their final stretch of the season is going to be easy. Although those matchups, though, <laughs> Ooh, all playoff, well, no, all 8-8 eight, eight or better. That's going to suck, but at least they have three out of the four games to wrap up the air at home. Texans. That is definitely going to be tough. Honestly, I can easily see the Texans start off 0-4 with this start. I really can see them going 0-4. They better really, really have a good schedule, I mean, season. Or else, 
Um, Bill O'Brien, he needs to go, especially after that trade. That was so stupid. But yeah, this schedule's not going to be easy for them, that's for sure. Titans. Free home games. Ouch! One, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five of their last seven games are going to be away. Mm. That isn't going to be good. Not going to be good for the Titans. They better show up this year. We'll see. Let's see the Colts now. Free, free. I mean, that's not going to be easy visiting these um, the Jaguars, Colts, and me Bears, and Browns, but not that bad. That too, no, no, this free before we stretch free away, that could be a little bit tough. But hey, the last three games are, I mean, two of the last three at home, so that's a little bit doable. Uh, wait, I think I already checked Chiefs. Yeah, I think I checked the Chiefs. One, two. Yeah, they gave the Broncos, I think, too many night games. I mean, I, I think they could maybe be the second best team in the NFC, AFC West, maybe challenge for a wild card, but I don't think it's, I think it's still too early to give them all those games. That's going to be tough. At the Titans, I mean, hosting Titans at the Steelers, hosting the Buccaneers at the Jets, at the Patriots. Broncos, if you don't get your shit right these weeks, I mean, I can easily see you going 0-5. I'm not kidding. All these matchups are within 500 of all these teams. I think these teams easily can be five within 500 in their record. And you're in the mix too, but you can easily I can see going 0-5. But at the same time, you could beat the Titans. Steelers, I think you might lose. You could beat the Buccaneers. Jets ones, that's up in the air. Patriots, more up in the air, but I think I'd side with the Patriots. So that's two or three free two. That would be a solid start, but you're going to have to really have a good start to the year. And then in between, those are tough games too. And of course the Raiders, let's see. Yeah, of course, most at the beginning of the year, most of their games, I mean, the more of their games are going to be away since who knows if the Raiders stadium will be built in time. Wow, three home games near the end of the year. Interesting. Although it's going to be tough with those three. And then at the Broncos once again too, that'll be tough. Chargers. Yeah, I would have given the Rams away game too, since who knows if um, Los Angeles, that new stadium is going to be built. Because remember that new stadium they were built was originally going to be um, finished last year, but because they had a rainy um, spring, I think it was in 2017, they delayed it for a year. So yeah, they really should have given the Rams away game too. Just in case this same is not ready yet, but gonna be tough. Three out of the first five away. Three, two of their last three away as well. All right, that is it for the AFC. Now let's go check out the NFC. Ooh, that's a tough schedule for the Eagles. At the Redskins, who they barely beat, remember? Redskins were free and 13 last year, and you barely beat them both times. At the Rams, hosting the I mean hosting the Rams, hosting the Bengals, and at the 49ers and Steelers, that's gonna be tough. And then these free straight games hosting, that's gonna be tough. And then this stretch right here, that's gonna be tough too. Alright, and then the Cowboys. The Cowboys have a really easy schedule to start off free at home, too. I could maybe see him maybe beating the Rams, especially since they destroyed them last year. I could maybe see him beating the Falcons. Seahawks, that could be tough, but it's like in the ballpark. I could see him beating the Browns and Giants and Cardinals. Jeez, if everything went their way, put aside Redskins right there, you could, I could see him maybe start off 6-0 and oh if everything went their way. And they're going to need it because this schedule after that, at the Eagles, Steelers, Vikings, Ravens, 49ers... That's going to be tough. Let's see if he'll put up or shut up this year, though, at least. Let's see, Redskins. Ouch! Free straight against really pretty solid teams. 
an underachieving Cowboys team, an overachieving Steelers, and a runner-up for the Super Bowl 49ers. Ouch. That will sting. Wait, I, oh, I think I went out of order for the um, Giants. I always keep doing that. That's going to be tough, too, for the Giants. At the Bears, at the Rams, at the Cowboys, at the Eagles. I can also see them easily going 0-5, too, to start off the year. Three of their last four at home, which is good, but they lost to the Cardinals. The Browns are probably better. They're going to get destroyed by the Ravens, and then the Cowboys destroy them, too. That is not going to be easy schedule for them. Packers. Wait, didn't I recheck the Packers? Ugh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Alternate almost. Alright. See Vikings. Ooh, three of their first five away. Free game home stretch again, though. But, Alice, that's going to hurt two games to finish out the year away. Three of the last four away. Especially Buccaneers. They could be maybe tough. The um, Bears, they've beaten them the last two years. Saints, that could be tough. Lions, who knows? That could be a wild card, maybe. All right, the Bears. A little bit easier start. But those matchups, though, are not going to necessarily be easy either. Ooh, three of the next four after that. Two of the last three. And then the Lions. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. That is rough. Start to the year. I can easily see him going 0-4. But hey, three of the last four at home, that's a good wrap of the year. If you can start off strong and maybe hang on, maybe have a chance. Because remember, the Lions were actually pretty solid at first until all the injuries came in. And they lost like nine in a row to wrap up the year. So you, I wouldn't underestimate the Lions per se. Other than the free road right here, Saints is not that bad. And then it was the um, Falcons in this order. Oh, oh! Almost alternate. Almost all the way down to here where they start to deviate. Almost home away, home away, home away, home away, home away, home, and then home right here. Oh my god. Almost did just like the Ravens did last year. That's interesting how they have the Saints and Buccaneers. I just noticed it back to back. How about that too? Their last week of schedule, all their games to wrap up the year are between their division and AFC West. AFC West, division rival. AFC West, division rival. AFC West, division rival. AFC West, division rival. That's a crazy. And then the Saints and Buccaneers, two of the three weeks in between. Incredible. Interesting quirk, but that's going to be tough to wrap up the year. Three of their last four away. And then the Buccaneers. Tough, tough start. Going to be tough. Free game streak right here at home. I mean, yeah, home. And then two of the last three away. I actually might, um, if, um, let me go see. Playoff. Let's see if playoff predictors update the 2020 schedule yet. Since it just came out. 2020. Ooh, it did. Mmm. That'll be an interesting way to wrap up the video. Maybe do my own predictions based upon what we see so far. What about that interesting idea, maybe? But let's keep taking a look at the schedule to pan first. Uh, yeah. uh, the Panthers just... I, just, I don't have no trust in the Panthers. I think they're going to tank. I just have not that much faith in them. Oh, yeah, I think I rechecked the 49ers. Didn't I free straight home games right here? Three out of four away. Two out of three away to wrap up the year. Seahawks. Two, three of the first five at home. Pa! Host of Giants and Jets back to back. That's funny. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, Christ. Alright, now, uh, Rams. Mmm, back-to-back three games. Thank the air. Easy wrap-up, though. Three of the f final four at home. And then finally, the Cardinals. Let's see the Cardinals. Ouch. Three games on the road. Two, the first, I mean, four of the first six games are on the road. That's going to hurt for the Cardinals. Then that free game, how about that? Three straight, um, three straight, um, away games followed by three straight, um, home games. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And after that, three of the next four away followed by two out of the three at home. Interesting. All right, now. How about to wrap up the video? Maybe I'll do my predictions now based upon the current, I think, for week one, Chiefs, Bills, I think the Colts, I don't trust the Jaguars. I think the Patriots still get it. Ravens just barely, though, because you can't really trust them against the Browns. I actually think the Bengals might get that, since I'm not sure on the Titans yet. I mean, the Chargers yet. Broncos. Uh, I'll keep that out for Panthers. I'm not sure. Steelers. Seahawks. I'm actually going to pick the Lions right now. Uh, mm, I'll pick Redskins. Eagles are not really trustable against them. Vikings, 49ers, Saints. I'm actually going to pick Cowboys. Uh, for this one, uh, I think I'll probably pick the Raiders because the Panthers, I think, are just going to tank. All right, then for week two, Browns, Bills, Steelers, Titans, Chiefs, Ravens. Uh, I think maybe towards the Vikings more. I'm not sure yet on the Colts yet on that one. 49ers, Seahawks, Saints, Bears, Buccaneers, Cowboys, Eagles, Packers, and then Cardinals. Let's turn this to, um, here we go, conference. That way we can see the, um, that way we can see playoff matchups possibly. Or the rank, seedings I mean to say, I'm such an idiot. Ugh, Dolphins. I think I'll probably take the Dolphins. At least the Dolphins should be building up, whereas the Jaguars are going to be tanking, I think. I probably will pick the Patriots still. I'll probably pick the Steelers, actually. Colts, Ravens, Bills, Browns, uh, Eagles. Probably pick the Vikings. Uh, who to tank more? Ugh, that's a tough one. Maybe the Chargers, because at least their games were close. Maybe I'll just pick the Chargers. Buccaneers, I'll probably pick the Broncos. Bears and Falcons. Uh, probably the Falcons. 49ers. Cardinals. I don't think I fully trust the Cowboys to go free no though. But I don't trust the Seahawks to go free no either. And they haven't played in a couple years. I'll probably pick the Seahawks. Saints. Alright, for 4 p.m., Broncos, Jets. Man, I had the Jets going 0-3. Wow, I think I'll just have to give them a home game just for that. Bengals. Titans. Chiefs. Bills. Probably pick the Colts. Buccaneers. Cowboys. Seahawks. Ravens. Vikings. Ouch, yeah, I'm picking the Texans to go 0-4. That's how little trust I have in them right now. Saints, although I would not underestimate the Lions, though. Cardinals, um, Rams, 49ers, and Packers. So then, Chiefs. Uh, where's the Patriot? Yeah, I'd probably pick the Patriots still. I'm not fully sure on the Broncos yet. Ravens, Texans. I'll probably pick the Titans. Uh, Colts and Browns. I don't really see the Colts being 4-1, and one, so I guess I'll give it to the Browns. Jets. Yeah, I'll give it to the Steelers. They always seem to do good when they host the Eagles. 49ers, Saints. I'll probably give that to the Buccaneers instead. Uh, Falcons. I'll give that to the Rams. Cowboys, and Seahawks. 
Alrighty now, so week six. I'm actually gonna give that to the Bills. Colts, Steelers, Titans, Broncos. Where did Jets at? Two and three. Maybe I'll give it to the Jets, but that's still like uh, I'm not sure. Fifty fifty maybe. Ravens. Lions. Giants. Bears. Vikings. Actually, I'll, I might give that to the um, Buccaneers in upset. 49ers and Cowboys. So for, for week 7, Bengals, Dolphins, Jets. I'll actually give that since they almost beat the Jets. I mean, they almost beat the Bills, remember, in week 1, but then they choked, and then they did beat them in the final part of the year. Ravens. Chiefs. Uh, Packers. I'm, I'm going to give that to the 49ers, actually. And then Buccaneers at Raiders. Probably give that to the Buccaneers. Eagles. Uh, Falcons. Cowboys. Saints. Seahawks. Since they, since they always seem to... They can't beat the Seahawks hosting, but they can always... I mean, they, can, they can't ever beat the Cardinals hosting, but they can always beat the C Cardinals one on the road for some reason. Rams. So, week eight. Give that to the Titans. Bills. Browns. Chiefs. Probably give that to the Chargers. Uh. Um. Fuck, I'll give it to the Dolphins. And Colts. Uh, probably the Falcons. I don't trust the Panthers that much. Packers, Saints, Seahawks, Eagles. Eh. I'll give that to the Giants. I don't think the Buccaneers are good enough to be six and two yet. So we're almost halfway through now. So now week nine. Hmm. The Ravens always struggle when they visit the Colts, and I think the Colts will play better, but I can't see them being 6-2. and two. Ugh. Fuck, I'll just give it a tie. Since I can't... I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> just tie it. Jaguars. Uh, Chargers. I'm giving that to the Patriots. Uh, Bills. Wow, Bills are 7-2. I might be overinflating them right now. Chiefs. I think I'm giving that to the Broncos. Titans. I'm actually going to give that to the Cardinals. And... Ugh. I don't really want to see these two being 6-2 and two or 7-2. Maybe I'll give it to the Steelers since the Cowboys got choked in some way. And since they were 7... Since they could have been 7-2 either way. 49ers, Redskins, Vikings, and... Even with Brady, I'm still going to probably give it to the Saints. Wow, Saints still undefeated. Colts and Titans... That's a close one too, but the tight the Colts beat the Titans and they were struggle a bit. So if they're gonna struggle, if I think they're gonna do better, maybe they can get it this time. Uh, I guess no. I'll give it to the Texans. I can't see the Browns going above five hundred yet. Steelers, Dolphins. Hmm, maybe the Raiders since they were already one seven. That's Ravens. Packers. I might actually give that to the Cardinals since I can't see the Bills going 8-2. and two. Uh, Eagles. Lions. Buccaneers. Rams. I think I'll pick the Saints in the rematch. And then Vikings. Alright, so with seven weeks left, Ravens, Chiefs, Colts, Bills, Steelers, Titans... Oh, it's right! There's, oh, it's right! There's seven teams! That's right! I forgot! There's seven teams in the playoffs now on each side. I forgot about that. So it's Saints and Ravens right now with the buys. I keep forgetting that. I gotta get used to that. Saints, 49ers, Vikings, Cowboys, Seahawks, Buccaneers, and Eagles. Okay? Now, let's go to Week 11. Steelers. I think the Ravens hopefully would get their revenge. I can't see them do, get choking that bad again. I think the Patri Texans actually could beat the Patriots. Charger at Broncos, Broncos. That's Chiefs. I actually think the Browns might get that. Uh, I think... 
at 6-2-1, and one, I might be a little bit overinflated, so I might give that to the Packers. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Colts did beat the Packers. That's how little faith I have in the Packers. I don't trust them really at all. Redskins. I would probably pick the Seahawks, but of course, since they can't ever beat the Cardinals hosting them, I'm going to have to give that to the Cardinals. Uh, I think I'll have to give that to the Panthers. Finally give them our first win of the year. Saints, Vikings, and I'll probably give that to the Buccaneers. All right, now week 12. Let me go look at the um division now. Let's see. Okay, they haven't clinched. No one clinched yet. Oh, Bill's almost clinched though. Let's go back to here. Man, Steelers 8-2. and two. That's really bullshit, but I mean, their schedule is kind of easy. And they always seem to do good no matter how bad they are. But I'm going to have to give that to the Ravens. I can't see them going 9-2, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Ravens did get it. Bills, Colts, no, Colts. Uh, hmm. I think I'll have to wait on that a little bit. Jets. I think Texans would get it. I think the Bengals could get that. Uh, Falcons. I think the Patriots could hold on to get that. Saints and Broncos. You know what? I'll give that to the Broncos. Saints, win streak's over. And the Broncos, I think, are building up. Chiefs and Buccaneers. I don't think that... I think the Chiefs might be too much for the Buccaneers still. Cowboys. Vikings. Uh... I think I'll give that to the Rams since I think the 49ers will be struggling a little bit. Packers. Oh, man, this is going to be interesting. But I think maybe this... Ugh. I mean, both teams are kind of overrated. I'm not sure about this. Oh, my God. I'm, like, not sure about either one of these two. I think I'll just give it to the Jaguars since they haven't had another win yet. But this one... Oh, my God. I guess I'll have to give it to the Seahawks since they did beat them both times last year. The Seahawks haven't lost the Eagles since... Two, uh, they haven't lost the Eagles since 2008, if I'm correct. That's how long it's been since the Seahawks last lost to the Eagles. Oh, this one's going to be interesting as hell. But I think I'll have to give it to the Dolphins. They're in a little bit better spot than the Bengals. Jets... Uh, I think the Colts could get it, but I don't really see them going 8-3. and three, So I might have to give it to the Texans by force. Titans. Uh, Patriots. Chiefs. Ravens, definitely. Uh, Steelers. Vikings. Ugh, this is going to be an interesting one, but I think the 49ers are overall better. Bears. Saints. Give that to the Cardinals. How about that? Cardinal 7-5. Not bad. Seahawks and... Oh, man. That's another tough one. But probably the Packers just edge out. All right. Final four weeks. Chiefs. Titans. Colts. And the Bills. I'll give that to the Browns since the Ravens always struggle when they visit them. Patriots and Rams. I trust the Patriots' defense more than I trust the Rams' entirety, even without a quarterback. Mm. I can't see the Texans getting 6-7 and seven yet, so I guess I'll have to give that to the Bears. Cowboys. Broncos. Seahawks. Uh, probably the Falcons. Maybe an upset, I'll give it to the Buccaneers. I think Cardinals. I'm actually going to give that to the Lions since they almost did beat the Packers last year, remember? When they hosted them. Actually, they almost beat the Packers both times, remember? They almost beat them both times. 49ers. And the Saints. Alright. Week 15 now. Raiders. Actually, we'll give that to the Broncos. Colts. Normally, the Patriots... Actually, yeah, the Patriots... Actually, I think the Dolphins could do that. Beat the Patriots in the re, re, um, rematch. Ravens. God, that was a weird record. 12-1-1. One, one. Steelers. Uh, Browns. 
Probably going to choke, so give that to the Giants. Probably give that to the Rams, the Titans. Chiefs at Saints. Oh my god, that's going to be interesting. But I think the Saints are probably going to struggle a bit this year. I, tr I think I'm going to trust the Chiefs more. Buccaneers at Falcons. I think I'll pick the Buccaneers since they're on the way up. Whereas the Falcons, I think, are just going to struggle. Panthers at Packers, that's Packers. Seahawks at Redskins, probably give that to the Seahawks. Vikings. I'll have to give that to the Eagles. I can't see the Cardinals go in 9-5 yet. 49ers at Cowboys. I think with the Super Bowl hangover and a much better coach, maybe I think the Cowboys can get it. All right, two weeks left. Broncos at Chargers. I think I'll have to give that to the Chargers. Browns at Jets. Uh, I'd probably give that to the Jets. Dolphins at Raiders. That's Raiders. Colts at Steelers. Colts almost did beat them, so I'll have to give it to them. Can't see the Steelers going 11 4 either. Texans. I'm going to give that to the Bills, actually, over the Patriots. Chiefs. Uh, I probably trust the Bears more. Ravens. Ooh, Titans and Packers. That's a tough one to pick. But knowing the Packers, I'll probably have to just pick them just because. I think the Saints would probably get their revenge if played again. Cardinals. That would be an interesting one. Buccaneers at Lions. But I think I actually might pick the Lions for that one. Uh, Redskins, actually, since the Panthers are on decline. Hmm, that's a tough one. Probably would just give the edge. No, I'll give it to the Rams. I can't see Seahawks going 12 and 3. And then Cowboys beat the Eagles. Alright. So, final week of season. Ravens always struggle against the Bengals, but the Bengals are not that good. And the Ravens would have to get home field advantage lack up. So, I'll probably give it to the Ravens. Bills. I'll give it to the Browns. The Chiefs. Colts. Probably the Patriots. And the Titans, Broncos, and the NFC Packers. Ugh. I guess the Buccaneers, because I, like I said, the Falcons I think are decline, whereas the Buccaneers might be on the way up. I'm not fully sure about that. Eagles, Cowboys, Vikings, Saints, 49ers, and I'll probably give that to the Rams. Alright, so based upon my predictions right now, that's how the season would end. Before we get to the playoffs, Ravens once again winning the NFC North, winning the bit. We can get home field advantage too. 14 1 and 1. What a weird record. Steelers surprisingly going 10 6. Browns 7 9. Bengals 4 and 12. That's a nice improvement for the Bengals, the 4 and 12. Colts going 11 4 and 1. That might be overachieving. Titans 10 6. Texans 6 and 10. It makes a little bit of sense. Jaguars imploding to 2-14. That's how little faith I have in them. Bills, 11-5. Patriots, 8-8. Eight eight. That's about where I think they probably would be. Jets, 7-9. Dolphins, 6-10. Chiefs, overachieving. Probably 14-2. Broncos, 9-7. Raiders, 4-12. Chargers, 4-12. Vikings, wow. Second seed, 2-12-4. 11-5 and and Packers. Lions, 5-11. Bears, 5-11. Saints, 14-2. 10-6. 6-10. 10 Wow. Tie in 2001 is their worst record ever. Cowboys 11 5, 7 9, 4 and 12, 3 and 13. So the Redskins and Giants swap places. 49ers, Seahawks. Ooh! Everyone in the NFC West getting at least 500. That's really good. Alright. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, Come on. There we go. Alright. Let's get to the playoffs now. So it's the Ravens and the Saints with the buys. Alright. Titans at Bills. I'm going to pick the Bills, and that will set the Bills up at the Ravens. Steelers at Colts, I'm picking the Colts. Broncos at Chiefs, picking the Chiefs. And then um, Seahawks at 49ers. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, my God, that's a tough one. I actually might pick the Seahawks in an upset. Packers at Cowboys, I actually might pick the Cowboys for an upset there. Buccaneers at Vikings, I'm not sure if the Buccaneers are quite ready yet, even with Brace. So I think I'll pick the Vikings. So the Seahawks would be at the Saints. 
All right. Oh, my wrist. So, Colts at Chiefs. Oof. Colts beat them last year, remember? And that was before they imploded. And I think they're going to do better. And I no and I bet the Chiefs might suffer Super Bowl hangover, but I'm not so sure about that one yet. Bills at Ravens, I think the Ravens can get that. Cowboys at Vikings, probably the Vikings. Seahawks at Saints, Saints. Oh my god, the Colts, Chiefs one, I'm not so sure of. So you know what I'm going to do for that one? We'll do a coin toss. Alright, so let's see. No, I need I need a like a penny or something. A number I can easily identify. Let's see. American coins. Here we go with dimes. Let's see. Flip it, make sure it works. Heads. We need a okay, here we go. Alright. If it's heads, I'll pick the Colts. If it's tails, it's the Chiefs. Alright, it was the Chiefs. So do that, Chiefs. Conference Championship Chiefs at Ravens. Finally get that. I can't wait to see that Monday night. Monday night that would be incredible. But I think the Ravens would get it, and Ravens would make their third Super Bowl appearance. Vikings and Saints. Oh my God! But I think the Saints would get that. So my Super Bowl prediction, just like two years ago, Ravens and Saints, in um Tampa. How fitting too, where the Ravens won their Super Bowl twenty years ago in Tampa, same stadium too. I think though the Ravens might get it. And get their fertile because the Saints, I think, are going to begin a little bit of a decline. That's three years in a row doing good, especially Breeze. He might struggle, so I think the Ravens would probably be my pick. But that's basically my predictions right now, based upon the schedule now we got filled out. Ravens beating the Saints is Super Bowl, but of course, oh my God, so much can change until September when it happens. I can't wait for what was it September? I think it was the tenth of September. Yeah, September 10th. That's the latest possible date to start off the season. I can't wait for Texans and Chiefs if it happens. Because who knows? Because of COVID, the schedule might not happen. Remember that. you got to keep it in mind. So hopefully it will happen, but you never know. But that's my reaction to the schedule. I don't like a lot of the night games, as always. They can't ever just pick good night games. they got to always pick about, oh, the Raiders and all that. Fuck that shit. I don't care about that.